All right, so I am getting ready to do an upper body workout today, and I thought that I would just put this on film and share um, how you can warm up your shoulders, especially if you have shoulder pain, nagging old shoulder injuries, um, if you have limited mobility, the shoulders just don't move as well, maybe they're not as strong, um, and it starts to affect you. If you're over 40, you know, these types of things that happen, um, especially when you got things you want to be able to do, you know, maybe you used to be able to do like push-ups and bench press and swing the golf club and drive the ball farther off the tee and things like that, and now, you have to avoid a lot of these things, or if you do them, they, they irritate the shoulder. Um, so what I found is that I like to do some movements just to kind of assess how well my shoulder's moving, how it's feeling, um, because I can tend to get a little bit jammed up in my right shoulder sometimes. Um, and then when I assess it, if anything feels stuck or not moving right, then I just start to add some brain and nervous system work in there. Um, and the reason why is because I find that this stuff works so much better than just doing exercises and stretches because exercises and stretches only work on muscles and joints, but what controls muscles and joints and movement at the shoulder is the brain and nervous system. So if anything that affects the brain and nervous system is going to affect movement, strength, um, pain, and all of that stuff in the shoulder uh, and other areas of the body. So what I'll do is I will start with, um, I love using resistance bands um, because it allows for like so much freedom of mobility. And you know, most people will not have perfectly symmetrical movement on both sides. Like we're different, we, you know, we have imbalances. No two sides are exactly equal. So the band accommodates differences in movement patterns and things like that. So. Um, I like to do some up and overs to start, so I'm just kind of going up and over here. And again, I'm trying to feel, how does this feel? Does it feel jammed up? Is it uncomfortable anywhere? Does it feel stuck? Do I have to change my movement pattern to accommodate the movement? Like, do, do I compensate? One thing, you know, we don't want to do is bend the head to get the, the arms up over, right? We don't want to be like leaning backward or doing these weird things. Um, so it just should be like real smooth, nice and tall, good posture, head up, right? And just moving right through. Um, you know, and if you can't get this far back, this a lot of times is hard, especially if you're over 40 or you've had shoulder issues. So do what you can, even if you're only able to get up here. Like just do what you can, don't force it. And this is one of those movements where over time, the more that we, that we do this and the better, um, the, the better the movement will start to get, and over time, you just look for improvements in the mobility, right? Can I get further back over time? Um, and one of the things that you'll tend to notice, especially when it comes to pain and injuries, is that um, you know pain doesn't get better first and then we're able to move and do things. It's the other way around. So as movement improves, as our movements become um, they, they become more full range, they feel better, they become more smooth and balanced and coordinated, whatever it is. When that starts to improve, pain starts to decrease. So movement improves and then pain decreases, not the other way around. So again, that's the importance of trying to work in mobility as much as we can with the main linchpin of mobility, not being exercises and stretches, but the brain and nervous system, all right? Uh, so that movement felt really good for me today. I didn't feel stuck. Sometimes I can feel stuck on that, but I'm doing good. Next one I'll do is I'll do some banded face pulls here. So different from doing it on a cable machine at the gym with like a rope attachment, because with the band, what I can do is I'm not just pulling back toward my face, but I'm pulling the band apart. So what it does is it allows me to get real good activation of all the muscles in the upper back, um, that have to do with helping move the shoulder and also create a lot of strength and stability there. So that feels pretty good. Um, and then lastly, I'll just do some pull-aparts. So I'll just kind of, I like to do multiple ranges. So I move like diagonal patterns this way. I can move straight across. I can do some where I start up and then I go into the middle and then I go down low. There's just all different ways to move. And if I can move pretty well, on both sides, like 
I can get about the same range on both sides and feel pretty good, um, then I know I'm doing pretty well. So one of the things that I tend to struggle with sometimes when my shoulder's not doing as well, like my assessment now, still about the same. So I did these movements, my shoulders are warmed up a bit, I'm moving good, but I'm still feeling stuck on my right shoulder. My left, look how close it gets to my ear. My right, I'm really pushing it and it feels kind of stuck. So it's definitely not, you could tell, the same. There's more space in there. So I know for me, especially going into a day where I'm gonna do like some bench press work. Um, and so what I know is that my vision, um, my, my eyes don't converge, meaning that they don't focus on objects that come closer to me uh, very well. So I have some imbalance in there and that can affect when I do like a bench press because when I'm looking at that bar coming down, if my eyes can't converge and focus very well, what happens is that the brain just starts to, to sense like this is a dangerous thing to be doing. And so I can get shoulder pain or it'll try to shut down how I'm moving, especially at this shoulder. So I have to do some vision drills to help improve the movement that I have at my shoulder. So what I'll do is I do a little bit of these, uh, we call them pencil push-ups. Um, I've shown these before on videos and I do this a lot because this one works really well for me usually. So I'll just kind of focus on my finger moving in and out and getting my eyes to, to converge better and then I'll assess my movement and look at already, you'll see. My arm is all the way near and I can put my hands together. Um, so that's what I'm looking for, like making sure I've got as much symmetrical movement as possible, making sure I'm not feeling stuck anywhere, and I'm also making sure that my brain and nervous system that affects my body and how well I'm going to do a bench press or how strong I might be on it, um, I'm making sure that I'm doing what I can to optimize that whole thing, that whole um, kind of connection in there. So that's pretty much it. I'll do a few rounds of those typically. Um, sometimes I'll just mix in maybe some um, activation work. So once those things are going good, then I'll start to activate things and, um, and then ramp up the, the exercise, the main exercise that I'm doing for the day. But just wanted to kind of show that. And, uh, you know, if you're dealing with any of those nagging aches, pains, old injuries that keep coming back, never really get any better. Sometimes it gets better, but then it comes back, the pain comes back. Maybe you've seen doctors or you've got cortisone shots, you've tried foam rolling, stretching, icing, heating, doing all these different things, pain relievers, medications, maybe even surgery, um, and you're still kind of stuck in the same boat and you might be feeling like maybe you're just older now and you need to stop you know, playing golf with the guys on the weekend, stop lifting weights, stop you know, doing the things that you love to do. There is another way, you know, we can get better as we age. We're not doomed to getting worse and having to give up the things we love. Um, we just have to understand how to get to the root cause and address that. So hopefully this helps. Give it a shot for yourself. If you have any questions, um, let me know. And uh, until then, have an awesome day.